Hello coin collectors, welcome back to the All Change Review. This week I thought we'd go back a bit after all the modern coins we've had recently and have a look at one of the old £2 coins again. So, this week we have the 1995 £2 coin to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the United Nations. And this is the brilliant uncirculated version and very shiny. So I'm going to leave this one in the capsule for today. So, brief history of the United Nations, or UN as it's commonly known. It was set up in 1945 after the Second World War with the aim of preventing another conflict like it from ever happening again. Originally it had 51 member states and as of today it has 193. And it has four main purposes as per the UN website which are to keep peace throughout the world, to develop friendly relations among nations, to help nations work together to improve the lives of poor people, to conquer hunger, disease and illiteracy, and encourage respect for each other's rights and freedoms, and to be the centre for harmonising actions of the nations to achieve these goals. And let's face it, they're not easy goals to meet. But let's move on to the coin now. It was designed by the awesomely named Michael Rizziello, and he's gone for the text around it of Nations United for Peace, and underneath he's gone for the year 1945 of the formation to the year of mintage and the 50th anniversary 1995. You can see here he's got a 50 and then the United Nations logo surrounded by flags which are very commonly seen outside the UN headquarters in New York. And for this coin, Michael said, The flags clustered around the 50th anniversary emblem are purely symbolic, and I deliberately avoided any reference to numbers, individual member states, or their perceived importance. Simply, nations uniting and into the United Nations. And I think he's done it well. It's not my favourite of the old £2 coins, but it still is a really beautiful design. So let's move on to value and it's been a bit trickier as the mintage figures for this one aren't readily available. In 1995 two commemorative £2 coins were released, the double piece and this one, and they both totaled 6,056,506. But I think it's safe to say this is the rarer of the two as it's harder for collectors to find and it does cost more if you were looking to buy or sell it. So I've been looking online at the last five sold from circulation. And they went for an average of £14.50. And while this isn't the rarest or most expensive of the old single £2 coins, it's definitely up there. But what do you think of this one? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed today's video, give us a like and subscribe for future content. Until next time, coin collectors, thanks for watching and keep collecting. Bye.